we are going to set up more sheets. So first thing we would like to do is to bring our title blog. You can find it in Pronter. So once you download all the families, it, um, it is in the folder, family, families folder. folder. Uh, to bring it into the project, go to insert, load family. I have it here, families, but you might have in other location. So Kia tie to block A1, the horizontal A1 tie to block. Open this and then go to sheets, then select the existing one that comes from um, Autodesk, from Revit, and then open this uh, window and change it for Kia tie to block A1. So we need to fill the information as well. We can start it with our project information. So if you go to project information, then we can type, first of all, the other, the date. So let's type our date, 2016, March 15. Then project status, let's type design stage. Client name, let's type Copenhagen. School of Design and Technology. Copenhagen School of Design and Technology, that's perfect. Project address, choose this box here, type Copenhagen. Okay. Project name. I will call this art gallery, but if you are going to design something else, project name should be yours, type whatever you decide to design in the end. Project number, let's call this SEM2P1. the project number so semester 2 project 1 next time we'll change for p2 p3 okay that's it in this window you can see once we change um, we add some information to project information then we got some of them already here next what I would like to do is to duplicate and create more sheets. Uh, we can do it clicking, uh, right click into sheets, right click new sheet, and then from the list choose Kia title block A1. And we have another one. Repeat this 17 times for now and then feel free to add more so I will probably start to name it And then if I need more, I'll just add it later on. So A100, I'll just go here and then right click 
a name and name I'm going to type site plan okay site plan and then you can see this name is actually name in our title block so I could come here and double click this and change it or I could come here right click name and change it here same um, name then next one right click rename let's call this one yeah so the name is uh, the number is perfect then the name let's call this level one okay the second one we name let's call level two this is level three scroll down and this is roof plan name roof plan and block letter roof, roof plan then for elevations we'll jump into 200 so right click rename and let's use 200 and then let's call this elevation A and B then next one three is this one rename let's use name for sections 210 Then we can call this sections one and two. Next one three is this one, rename. Then we can use three hundred numbers for our renderings. So three D view three D view and then we can call this render then next one free right click rename we can call we can name it 301 And then we can call this 3D view render inside, for example, or interior. Render interior. And then next one rename three zero two. We can call this three D view and the exterior. What else is left? Uh, right click rename. Then we can use this three ten. So let's keep three hundred for renderings. So feel free to add more renderings. A uh, three will use it for our three D views. So three D. Um, 3D view level 1 
next one rename that will be three eleven this will be three D U level two another free rename that will be three one two and the name three D U level three a few more rename then we can have some 3D sections. So 3, 2, 0. We'll, we'll reserve to 20, uh, from 20 to uh, 29 for uh, all 3D sections. Um, let's call this 3D U section 1. And then next one, name. To one three D U section two. We use all of them, all of, all of the ones that we created. So right click new sheet. Um, so create a few more. I would say maybe four more. Let's see if we have enough. So this one here, rename. We can call this 330 and 3D view displacement. Then Another one, rename, maybe three, four, or maybe four hundred for all the schedules. So four hundred, and we can say this um, um, sheet. Join, join schedule. Then OK. What else we have? So that's for the moment. That's fine. Those two we don't need that. So select it. Right click, delete, and we have a set. And then we need to fill with the right views. So site plan. Double click the scroll, then bring from sheets our site plan. Top site, this is our site. Left click and grab it somewhere here. This is 500 scale. I'll double click and then I'll change the scale for 200. Double click outside deactivate the view or if you are in the view you can also right click and deactivate the view once the view is deactivated you can actually move the view so I would like to move this somewhere here okay. so maybe that way now double click the view and then crop view, show crop region, and then crop region should go along our title block. Somewhere here. And this should actually go to the top of the title block. So 
skin close to the tighter blood drain. And once it's done, don't forget to hide crop region. And what else? Uh, also, we, this is a site, so we don't need view templates because it's just one view. But I would like to hide the grids, I would like to hide the elevation marks and also our uh, base point uh, symbol. So VV being in the view, as you can see the frame is grey, so make sure your frame is grey when you want to change the settings, the view settings. Type VV, then in model categories um, find grids. Uh, sorry, annotations, find grids, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, grids. I'm going to turn it off and also um, elevations, so A, B, C, D, elevations, then in the model, inside, press plus and then project base point be off, survey point should be off, apply, ok, and that should be fine. So once you have this, left double click outside and now we are in our uh, sheet view. So this should go somewhere here. Click, select the view if you like to move down the line and left click somewhere here. This looks like uh, ready for now. Of course, we would like to place more and maybe to put some annotations, uh, but for now it's fine. So let's move into level one. Zoom out then bring our level 1 from floor plans, sheets L1, grab here, leave it, left click to make sure that floor plan will actually go somewhere in the middle of the sheet. <coughs> now double click the view Let's see if we have any view templates. Um, graphics, edit system, um, image. So I'm going to uh, first of all press VB and I don't want to see, for example, Maybe the section lines. I'm going to hide it. You probably want to see, but um, yeah, I'm just going to hide it now. Maybe I turn it off, turn it on back later on. So annotation, then section, which is here. Then I don't want to see the view, uh, which is called elevation views. And the rest should be fine for now. So apply. Also, I don't want to see the trees. So if we go to model, then we don't want to see actually site. Turn it off. Then OK. And those VV. What we can do. planting, turn it off and then double click outside then take this view, place it there select the view and grab this line ok, that's ready to go next one 
zero two sheets. now to speed it up in sheets from L01 I would like to create a view template and I'll call this uh, plants sheets okay and okay and in L02 I would like to apply this uh, template so sheets okay it's perfect let's bring this back it's fine let's see what's going on in our sheets level two yeah that looks more or less okay I'll move it slightly up and then this name should go somewhere here and then select the view and grab this line into here okay next now there's one thing I notice we see actually the we see um, the cutting wall below. I need to turn it off. So in view range, double click, make sure that you are in the view. So the frame should be gray out. In view range, uh, not in the view range, but in underlay, change this for none. Okay, now we see only. Uh, also, I would like to do a small change in our view template in model columns pattern. I would like to have it black. change probably because we should change it like this I think we should change the rabbit links so custom Model display and then columns. There has to be to be change. Let's leave it as it is. I'm going to take a look later on. But just for now, it's fine. So double click outside. Then, uh, which one is the next? L03. Same, apply uh, view template. First of all, we need to bring it. So floor plans L03. Zoom out. And then the view, view template should be plants sheets. So we get rid of the other stuff. Now we can use the arrows to move it left or 
up. That's fine. I'm double click this and I'm going to turn circular region or actually off. Click on site. And now the view is here. Ready? So menu. Click the view to get this blue dot and we turn it back. Okay, what's next? Roof plan. Then floor plan sheet. sheets then double click outside and then put this view somewhere in the middle and then also bring this name to the corner let's click the view what else we have 3D view section 1, let's go there, and then we have 3D view, actually sorry, the, let's go to the sheet, so elevation A and B, elevation A and B from sheets, so bring elevation A, and then bring elevation B. some changes to your model maybe you will get different elevations at the moment at the base we have more or less the same I'll double click this elevation uh, crop region it's on so I want to actually stretch up to our title block In this elevation, what I would like to do, I would like to hide our topo surface here. To do so, we can go to annotate and then region, masking region, and then make sure that in masking region, uh, invisible lines are selected, and then let's use this rectangle. I'm going to zoom in and start somewhere here. And I'm going to go all the way up to here and place this region the mesh. This and what happened? We actually hide part of our model. The next thing I would like to do, I would like to use detail line, pick line, view, hidden, hidden, um, yeah, white lines, and not, and then what I'm going to do, I'll keep that one as it is, and I'm going to, actually what I can do, I can edit, edit our um, region, edit boundary, and I can use, I can change the top line, instead of invisible, I can change it for white line, and OK, and then OK. Now the top line is white, so we'll get 
get this kind of line all the way in our elevation and let's do the same for our second elevation double click outside then double click inside this and then we want to see the crop region and the crop region should go here here maybe down That will do. Okay, once it's uh, done, then annotate region, must be region with Angular, and then I'm going to paste this region more or less from here, and then I need to move probably the crop region because it's going too far. Zoom out and we want to change the lines for invisible lines, that's perfect, and the top one for our white lines. Then finish that and next what we would like to do is actually fix this crop region and this should go somewhere here. Let's see the other side. crop region and double click outside now next this name should go close to and the left edge and select the view move it left select this view move it this left and we would like to line up View. Maybe it will help you with the blue line, and those looks now correct. Let's see actually if the crop region is only in this height crop region. It's perfect. Then click outside and all elevations. So let's see what's next, section 1 and 2, do the same, so where are the sections, uh, 3D elevations, section 3D, section 3D, and we have sheets. So section 1 can go here, and then section 2. So those sections uh, we need to do some graphic work, I'm going to leave it up to you how you are going to make it better and more 3D looking, uh, more live looking. So um, I will move on to the next one, we have render. And uh, this render is going to be the main one. So let's go to L01, to actually site, site view, but not actually the sheets. From now on, it's better to use uh, our floor plan 
class from this category as each time uh, you change something on this one it will affect our sheets so to make the render we need to set up, set up a camera the camera should be find for example here if you press this and then camera save the projects project it already asks you and then I would like to have a view um, somewhere from somewhere here let's say and then all the way down make sure that you pass the site and that's this way and camera because it's the main one and uh, I would like to go up so target elevation let's try with 8000 I think we need one much more so let's type 99000 and then I elevation So actually target should go to thousand. And maybe seventeen is enough. Could have been better to go with fifty. Uh, so fifty thousand more or less. And then 1000 or less here. Then I would like to move this slightly down and then move this slightly down. And I go to side scroll. So <coughs> maybe that should be three hundred by two hundred fifty. Okay, and also I go to sides. Here, I would like to move it closer. Somewhere here. Let's see what we got. Where are let's go rendering. Then we can also set up duplicate view and renderings. Okay, so our three D view, let's call this main. So that will be our main render, and we can render using the teapots. More information how to render and how to get uh, good graphics uh, you can find in one of the Linda courses about uh, rendering in Revit. 
so the next camera let's set up close to the building somewhere here and I set up camera let's say So this will be our main render uh, external. And we we'll change immediately the renderings. And also what we'd like to do is set up another Some one inside. So once you add some stuff inside, you will be able to render your interior. So maybe if I set this up say that way. Let's call this um, render builder. And this should go to renderings. Okay, if we go back to our sheets, so main render. This one, but once you render, you will save your image, and that image will be created somewhere here, and then you grab that image. Just for now, to see what uh, what's there, I can just um, leave it as it is. So the next one, render interior, this will go internal here, and as I said, we will place images. we have 3D view level 1 let's go here 3D view sheets level 1 we will place the level 1 somewhere here then if you select the view you can move the view somewhere here ok that's level 1 then we have level 2, which is here, level 2, I did the uh, 3D views sheets, yes, level 2, and level 3. Now, because there is nothing, it looks very empty, but as I mentioned, once you add your parts, some very 
pictures, some stairs, and other stuff, you can actually see much more. we have we have our 3d section one which is here and then we have our 3d section two placement then we need to create a special view for it so one of the 3d views uh, which we can start with the default duplicate and we can call this 3d view and then this can go to our sheets and then what you just do you select your parts you can hide the other uh, you can select your parts and then you can start to move so let's say I want to move this and I can go to View, so modify walls, um, view, and then use this option displace elements. Left click and then use the arrows to move this out or in or up, depends what would you like to show. And then, for example, if I move this out, out then I can place some paths. show where this part comes from and I can do the same for the other parts so let's say I want to move for this this place move this out my mistake actually makes the night it's just a volume but I want to move the entire concrete wall so this and then up From and do as you like here. You can also hide this, so select it, hide in view by category, and the same with those trees, hide in view by category. Now everything is gone. Once you set this up, you can go to your 3D view displacement. One thing, uh, let's see what's there, what's left, drawing schedule, let's create a schedule, right click, new sheet list, list, and then sheet name, sheet number, I don't know, sheet date is the same, so let's not use this. Two. Okay, and then what we can do, drawing schedule, find the sheets, find the schedules, and then the sheet list. Not sure actually which should be one. List somewhere here. You can always stretch. just to get uh, full names and then so that's the basic 
set for your sheets feel free to add more a few more or many more and also feel free to create more views and make your own styles so if you find better ideas for another uh, for your 3d views for example just make make it better and make your renderings and print it up.